I wondered why the ball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. Today, I'm going to recap a 2007 action fantasy film called In the Name of the King, A Dungeon Siege Tale. The movie begins with a man named Galleon, who spends romantic moments with a woman. When Galleon kisses her, he starts sucking power from her, since she is the daughter of a powerful wizard. At the same time, as he kisses her, the forest and castle catch fire and are ruined. This gives him the power to amass and control an army of Krogt to overthrow the king. Next, we see a man known only as Farmer, an orphan who was adopted from a small village. While working in his garden with his son Zeph, a close friend, Norik, pays him a visit. He offers him a piglet in exchange for vegetables and talks about the old days. Apparently, Farmer was once a brave fighter, but now he has decided to live a quiet life. Norik stays for dinner, and the talk comes up that the king is creating an army. Norik thinks Farmer should enlist because the king pays well, but he chooses to stay with the family. The next day, his wife Solana and son leave to sell vegetables in the town of Stonebridge. At King Conrad's palace, a frightened scout informs him that the enemies, the Krugs, continue to attack and show no mercy. Meanwhile, Farmer is working when suddenly he hears strange noises. He looks carefully around and a monster of the Krug's army attacks him from behind. Farmer kills it and steals a weapon, after which he neutralizes the others one by one. Then he notices smoke nearby and follows it. The Krugs are also attacking Norik's property and Farmer arrives to help his friend. Together, they manage to defeat the Krugs and realize that the enemy will also attack the town of Stonebridge, so they go there. In the meantime, Solana and Zeph have stopped at her parents' house. The woman observes the surroundings through a monocular telescope and notices the Krugs arriving. She tells her father to take Zeph away, and she begins to signal to the others that there is danger in the town. The Krugs attack Stonebridge, killing every person they find. Norik and Farmer finally arrive and begin to fight the Krugs. Solana is surrounded by the enemy. Farmer and Norik run desperately to save her, killing the enemies they encounter on the way. We discover that the Krugs are being controlled by the evil wizard, Galleon. The wizard takes control of a soldier to kill Farmer, but the latter cuts his throat. Galleon orders a soldier to go to Solana's parents' house, and Farmer follows him and goes inside, and starts fighting against the Krugs after Galleon kills Solana's parents. Farmer yells at Zeph to flee, and the young boy begins to run. While he is busy fighting a monster, Galleon looks for the little boy and kills. The Krugs retreat, and Farmer looks for his son, but unfortunately finds his body, which he then buries. With each shovelful of earth that fills the hole, his desire for revenge increases more and more. Farmer says they must bury Solana as well, but Norik says they did not find her body, so she is probably alive. Next, we find out that Duke Fallow is betraying the king as he has let Galleon into the castle to conspire against the king. Meanwhile, King Conriad and his men visit the destroyed city and ask the men to enlist to defend the kingdom from the Krugs. Farmer points out that the enemies have taken prisoners and chooses to go and free them instead of defending the gates of the king's palace. At this point, Bastion, Solana's brother, along with Farmer and Norik, decide to join forces to visit Solana and the other prisoners. Soon after, Merrick, the king's wizard, asks Norik if they have met before. Merrick seems to know something special about Farmer. Merrick approaches him and tells him that the king needs him more than he thinks. He refuses and sets out to find and rescue his wife. They start their journey, but at one point find a broken bridge. They decide to leave the horses behind and continue on foot. Farmer reaches the other side of the cliff with the help of a rope, but when their turn comes, the two remaining ones fall into the water. When the king returns to his castle, he finds Fallow wearing the crown and sitting on the throne. He is furious that there are no guards in the palace and orders the commander to take Fallow away. Irritated, Duke Fallow impatiently orders Galleon to speed up their plan. Galleon goes to the room of one of Merrick's daughters, Mariella, to be with her. She disapproves of coming into her room as and when he pleases. She chases him away because her father, the wizard, considers him an enemy. 
Next, we see the Krubes transporting prisoners, including Solana. And Duke Falok tries to appease the king while eating with him. Back to Farmer, they are passing through a seemingly dangerous forest. Norik disapproves of this trip, as there are stories about the presence of terrible things in this place. Farmer doesn't listen to him and continues the journey. Suddenly, some forest nymphs hang them upside down, and Elora, their leader, tells them to leave the forest and never return. The action moves to the king's realm, where it is discovered that Galleon has poisoned the king's food. Therefore, the king falls to the ground, weakened. Meanwhile, Fallow meets Galleon, and it appears that he too was accidentally poisoned when he ate from the king's plate. Galleon gives him the antidote and reminds him that he must now serve him. Merrick arrives at the castle and checks on the king, revealing that he has been poisoned. Merrick is informed that Fallow has fled the castle, taking two-thirds of the army and other guards with him. Merrick thinks Fallow actually poisoned the king and suspects Galleon's hand in it. He confronts his daughter, Mariella, about her involvement with Galleon and tells her that by being with him, she allowed him to gain power. Meanwhile, Elora helps Farmer Norik and Bastion find their way out of the forest. A few hours later, they run into a Krug army, and Elora returns to the forest. Suddenly, they are attacked by a monster, which they quickly kill. Back to the healed king, he is informed by Merrick of Fallow's treachery. He orders the remaining army to prepare and attack in the morning, as the crew doesn't expect an attack. Farmer Norik and Bastion infiltrate the prisoner's camp to find Solana. Soon, Farmer finds her but is shot in the back by a Krug. The next morning, the king and his army leave the castle to fight the Krug. Farmer wakes up, and Galleon, through a Krug, asks who he is because he sees danger in him. Galleon wants to hang Farmer, but the man manages to kill the Krug and cuts the rope with his sword. Norik and Bastion are taken prisoner in the same cage as Solana, where her brother reveals that their parents and her son are dead. Norik consoles Solana, telling her that Farmer will come to rescue them. Merrick, who has heard that Farmer is in danger, finds and rescues him, saying that more challenges await him ahead. Moriella feels guilty for breaking her father's trust and wants to end her life, but her handmaiden reminds her that this would cause much pain for her father. She leaves the castle, determined to prove herself worthy of her father's trust and love. Merrick brings wounded farmer to the king's camp, and the surprised commander asks him why a farmer is so important. Merrick tells him that the farmer is of special interest to the king, but he doesn't yet know that. Merrick orders farmer to be taken to the king's tent to reveal the shocking truth. The wizard says that farmer is actually the king's real son. Farmer refuses to believe this, saying he has no parents and leaves the tent. The king angrily asks Merrick how this is possible since he told him 30 years ago that his three-year-old son died in a massacre. Merrick looks at the situation from another point of view and points out that if the child had been in the castle, he could have been killed by the king's enemies. The next morning, Merrick makes Farmer realize that the future of the kingdom needs him. The king's army commander tells the forest soldiers that anyone who is with Fallow is a traitor. General Backler, with the 11th and 12th legions of soldiers, joins the king. The commander, who is still unaware of Farmer's true identity, is skeptical and says that he will keep an eye on him. Subsequently, the epic battle between the king's army and the Krug begins. The archers kill the first wave of Krugs, and Galleon implements another strategy. He uses underground monsters to catch the enemy soldiers and kill them. Elsewhere, Moriella tries to join the king in the battle and is pursued by a Krug. During the battle, Farmer fights bravely and earns the commander's respect. After a long battle, Fallow spots the king among the soldiers and, after numerous attempts, finally succeeds in striking him and escaping from the battlefield. The Krug fight like barbarians and are numerically superior. Nevertheless, the king's army is more organized and disciplined, so they manage to prevail. Finally, the battle ends when the king's soldiers manage to kill all the Krug on the battlefield. Meanwhile, Norik Bastion and Solana are taken to Galleon's lair, where they are supposed to become slaves. Fallow, who is returning to the castle, is hoping to finally become king. 
They ride through the forest of the nymphs and meet Moriella. Fallow insults her, but suddenly they are attacked by the forest nymphs. He manages to escape on horseback, but is chased by the nymphs and finally captured. Alora takes him to Moriella, who says she will take him with her. Meanwhile, Norik, who refuses to become a slave, dies bravely fighting with the Krugs. Bastion and Solana try to escape, but are captured. Back at the battle, the king lies wounded, and Farmer pays him a visit. The king realizes that it is really his lost son, when he quotes a phrase that the king used to say to his son every night. Shortly before dying, the king accepts him as his son and entrusts him with the kingdom. Moriella brings Fallow back to the battlefield and hands him over to the king's commander. On the battlefield, Fallow is forced to fight against Commander Terish. After a grueling duel, Fallow is about to be killed, but someone shouts that the king is dead. Fallow, who is now the new king by rule, realizes that Terish, bound by honor, cannot kill him. Merrick then announces that the king is dead, and that Farmer is Camden Conriad, the king's lost son. Everyone kneels before Camden, the farmer. The new king warns them that Galleon, the enemy, is still alive and must be defeated. Galleon discovers that Farmer is the new king, thanks to one of the Krug, and gets enraged. Solana is brought to him, and he realizes that she is Farmer's wife. He tells her that he can feel it in her because she is carrying Farmer's second child, the son of the new king. Galleon realizes that Farmer will come to save his wife, and he can use her to defeat the new king. When they organize a new army, Moriella asks to join them and reveals that the forest nymphs want to help defeat the Krugs. Galleon sets off a violent storm, and the sky fills with dark clouds. Meanwhile, the king's army prepares for another battle against the Krugs, who are defending Galleon's castle. Merrick reveals that there is a secret entrance to Galleon's castle through the mountain. After that, he magically enters inside to distract the enemy, while Farmer and Alora begin to sneak inside. Eventually, Merrick is lethally wounded, and Farmer finds the secret entrance, but Galleon can sense that he is here. Moriella manages to magically enter the castle to join Merrick, revealing that she is a wizard like her father. Merrick passes his last remaining power to her and then dies. Bastion breaks free and attempts an escape. The nymphs join the king's army on the battlefield and fight bravely against the Krugs. Farmer finds his wife, but Galleon takes a sword and challenges him to a duel. Farmer manages to prevail, but then Galleon starts using magic to kill him. Suddenly, Solana takes a sword and stabs him, and Farmer slits his throat. As soon as Galleon is killed, the Krugs retreat. Having finally avenged his son, Farmer verbally confesses his love for Solana, something he has never done before. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.